Hey y'all, Fandom DC and here, going to be reacting to The Gifted Season 2, Episode 13, so let's get to reacting. They're scanning for X-Genes, so I wasn't a mutant, let me through. We gotta warn the others. Evangeline's already on her way to the border with the refugees. Leo, no, it's too dangerous. Evangeline, she can handle things. Not if she's walking into a sandwich. She's fine. Once she gets to Flint, she'll know what but to babe, do. We, she, we don't know if she... How did you know where she was crossing? Ah, uh, so this is the story of the non mutant betrayed I, I mutant underground. Me. Let's just go. We can start over. Please, I love you. The others warned me not to trust a human. <laughs> Never again. Damn. Get out of my sight. My brother said that Reva Page has infiltrated the government. And Benedict Ryan is leading the purifiers in a nationwide crusade. That the two of them fight. Yeah, this is win. exactly why we have to fight. The inner circle, the purifiers, they want the same thing. Humans and mutants living apart. They're going to try to drive a wedge between us. <laughs> Whoa. Hey, are you okay? What is she planning? No, it, it's nothing. I just got sloppy. Building plans. The White House. Pentagon. Sentinel Services Headquarters. The Capitol. Max can turn those buildings into explosives. Damn. The plan is to wipe out the entire government? Perfect. Freeze-dried ice cream. Never understood it. It's not icy or creamy. It's good. Take it. Shot. Get her to a hospital. Blink, we can't do that. What are you talking about? She's dying. She's a fugitive. If we take her to a human hospital, she'll be arrested in minutes. Could compromise our entire community. Erk, she's not going to betray you. Not intentionally, no, but sentinel services can be very convincing. So then what do you suggest we do? The best we can with what we have. Doesn't seem like what you have is helping. Maybe your girlfriend had the right idea joining up with the Morlocks. That's a bit much. Exactly we'll blow. what the inner circle wants. All right, the mutant underground to give up for us to lose sight of our mission. But once we abandon our principles, our only option is war. Come on. Look, we cannot let them win. Everything is at stake here. I'm sorry, guys, but if all you've got for us is speeches, then they've already won. You've been sharing Damn. things with Eddie months and now you're afraid to sleep he's different it's like he's probing my mind searching for my weaknesses because that's the cuckoos i'm so sorry to just come in like this all right so quick, i need your help i told you to put that thing away it's just a music box it ain't it is more than that it's all cracks and damn I'm it i'm worried that it's making you feel worse i think my dad was trying to warn me about what? About the darkness that exists in our family. Mm -hmm. Darkness. The power. It's incredible. It doesn't feel evil. It feels like I can make everything wrong with the world right again. Hope so. Okay, Look, I so she needed to grab Marcus. I can help her? You guys both have glowing blood. That's gotta count for something. Please, please tell me there's more in science than I, I'm no mutant biology expert, but it's likely your powers are related. And what the hell is going on? You said that we couldn't take you to the hospital, so I brought someone here. You brought a human down. You put a whole mm. community in danger. I could Look, trust we're her. We're just trying to help here. That's all. Pulse is threading. There's so much blood. I, I can't see it. More gauze. I'm sorry, but you can't be here. You don't belong. You should go back to your own people. Everyone I know is a mutant, including my family. Don't tell me who my people are. Warren, come on. This dare reminds me of Nightmare on Elm Street. Eventually, you're gonna fall asleep. We can have that again. Just you and me. Not even really your brother. Can't we just let go? Be ourselves. What do you say? Don't take that hand. Damn, she took the damn hand. Think of what we could do. We're gonna meet up with Andy. I don't know. I... You 
do know. Think of what we can do. Both of us together. No. no. Angie, I can't. Good, she's strong. Lord, wait! Well, I need to isolate Marcus's platelets and mix them with an antiplasmin and a centrifuge. And I am guessing you're not a pharmacist and a post-apocalyptic pirate. <laughs> Got a point. We run into trouble. You have no powers. We can't have dead weight. It may not have an M on my face. But he I can take care of myself. Always packing. Oh damn, she went to go meet up with Andy. What are you talking about? I have had my cell tossed enough times in the joint to know someone was messing with my stuff. You're drunk and paranoid. Relax. Don't. Tell me to relax. Someone was in my room. You're not in the joint anymore. No one here is gonna mess with your stuff. Maybe. Maybe not. No, he knows. Come on. Find out where she went. What's wrong? She's walking in circles. She's confused. Confused about what? Her powers? Her place in this war? Have you talked to her about this? I tried, but Lauren's experience is nothing like me. I don't think he has anything solid yet. Okay, look, you have to run. Now, if he tells Riva you're dead. But if we don't find out what they're planning, then more people die. <sighs> and what about Andy, huh? All right, all right, look. If we can't get you out of there, then we have to get Max out of there. Well, we both know I'm pretty good at getting people to talk. Marcus. Oh, you hate doing that. Yeah. Damn, it's gonna be like I... that. What was that? Purifiers outside. They're here. They Damn, have to go. really? Now. Now can we go? Not without her. I'm fine. Billy's come in handy. She's headed toward her brother, toward the inner circle. It's not as simple as that. The power of this thing is incredibly strong. It's almost irresistible. Are you talking about her? Or are you talking about you? No. Reed, I think you understand more about Lauren's situation than you've told her. You owe it to her to tell her the truth. Got a point. You need to find her for me. There you go. Just in time. It wasn't the first time I'd seen it. I found it as a boy in our attic. I was drawn to it. Just like you like are. You. The story I told you, my dad wasn't warning me about the darkness calling to me. Because he knew I already liked it. I can't resist it anymore. How could you put your not alone? And I think I can help you. Okay. What you got? Heather's right. You are paranoid. I don't think so, sweetheart. This is my guess, is the... I think you're forgetting who you're talking to. I am Polaris. My father was part of the inner circle before it even was the inner circle. I could I say your father was Magneto? Around here, that makes me royalty so if you're gonna run your mouth you better have a lot more than a guess it's uh it's nothing any guy with glowing blood wouldn't do 
But now you have things to do for Lorna. Yeah. Yeah. I guess she'll always have your heart. Damn right. I'll just have to settle for two pints of your blood. You were right about her. See? I'm sorry. Not every dumb you girl is going to betray you. Right too many times. As for the apology, I'm not the one you owe to. I wanted to give you something before you go. Gonna give her the me wow. Is it gonna affect Andy though? You said she was coming. Where is she? she? I don't know. Something's changed. I can't feel her anymore. <laughs> So not gonna lie, this was a good episode of Marvel's The Gift of Stars. We got a little bit of more details on what exactly happened that made Urge pretty much leave the Mew and Underground because he was work working with Evangeline like what six years ago. But that non mutant that happened to betray the Mew and Underground so happened to be, you know, his lover and she was a non mutant and that's pretty much was like the last straw for him pretty much hating and disliking non-mutants to the point that hey when reed's wife is coming in like oh i'm gonna help you guys out no you're a rigging non-mutant but because of what she pretty much did in this episode helping out glow he's starting to warm up to humans so it's pretty good pretty good and again some character development between uh, herbs there but i probably mispronounced these names so do forgive me but and that whole blood transfusion you know operation that mutant did tell marcus if you lose any more blood uh it's not gonna be looking good for you marcus and what happens during the end of the episode after you know lorna says hey his guy's you know getting on to me he's like hey he's figuring out certain stuff uh what we gotta do and marcus is like okay may have to take him out but not only that though but you know to learn okay what in the world is you know reba truly planning you know they already have like some pieces here and there but they don't got that whole picture you know so he pretty much was in that car getting ready to torture that dude but nope he that inner circle member had a gun and he shot marcus he losing blood I'm not a doctor, nurse, or whatever, to the point that I don't know how much pints of blood. I think it was like, what, two pints of blood he got, you know, taken out of him from the Operation with Glow. And then he's pretty much losing more blood in this scene. And it's like, I don't know the whole point in time between the two, because it seems like it happened like right after the moment they came with the medicine. I think they pretty much were on their way out of there. So it's like, is he looking good? I don't know. I got. I might. I'm tempted to look at the preview because <laughs> I normally don't watch the previews to the gifted. So it's like, uh, I might have to look to see what's gonna be like next week's plot. Cause I'm curious. I'm curious if Mark Marcus is okay, or Marcus may not even be looking good. You know, but we still had you know Lauren pretty much trying to fight the urge from the Kukos. Oh, join the inner circle. She's like, yeah. <laughs> She wasn't, but it seems like she was still confused. And even when she left, she was even like compelled to even like go and meet Andy, but it didn't happen because Papa Reed came through and he's like, Hey, I'm pretty much going through the same thing you did because hey, I lied to you. I wasn't being honest. I too, you know, got the urge from the damn Horcrux music box. So Reed's father's solution was suppressing Reed's abilities, and now Reed is gonna pretty much use that same type of solution. And, you know, do it with Lauren. But again, it's not permanent. She's still going to have her abilities just like Reed. So, uh, let's just see how this goes. But hey, now that you're sharing with your daughter, 
if you had a system and calculate, okay, I pretty much had like this amount of, you know, doses left. I should be good in a bad situation. It may come where you don't have any cereal because you're pretty much giving some to your damn daughter. So, uh, let's see how all this even goes down. But even that, though, what happens in a situation where they actually need Lauren to even use her powers? But, hey, we gave her, you know, the little serum thing. So, it's like, ah, uh, double-edged sword there. But as long as hell, she's not going to, at least she can dream, sleep, in peace, and don't have to worry about those damn kookos, damn it. <laughs> but yeah, I cannot wait to see how the season's going to conclude. I think we got, what, three more episodes left? Uh, and Reva's pretty much planning to pretty much blow up some, you know, government places. It's like, damn, the White House, the Pentagon, and I think other places as well. I just cannot remember <laughs> for the life of me. But till then, like or dislike the video combo. If you guys stole the episode, hey, if you're new, please subscribe. I'm Fandom the Saint, and I am Sam.